For Taylor May Golf, this is the Rush Hour on Triple M. High ball inside, forward 50, Kangaroos into attack, Higgins off the pack, Higgins snaps, and Higgins has done it again. Oh, he has. He's come in again too. He's one of our favourites, Shawnee Higgins, of course. Two Sid Barker medals at North Melbourne. 220 games now, and is a genuine star of the game, going to play in the State of Origin Friday night. Sean O, welcome. G'day, Bill. How are you, Daisy? G'day, mate. Now tell us, how are you? How are you feeling? Because you're getting a bit older now and you, you've had a few little injuries. Of I still remember the concussion. You all right? <laughs> I'm good, mate. Thanks for your concern. But no, body's really good. I'm fresh, body and mind and ready for the year, Bill. Couldn't play last week, I see, in a practice game. You rested? Yeah, no, I got the game this week and then we've got our final hit out uh, down in Tassie uh, Monday week. So I'm looking forward to that. Trying to stitch him up very early on in the piece uh, there, Bill. I did catch a bit of that game last week. Some good signs from some of your young boys. Yeah, it was a pleasing first half. Obviously, you were there, Dave. So a little bit disappointing in the third quarter. But we had a really young list in and gave some opportunities, some draftees and also guys that have been on the list for one or two years and haven't played a lot of senior footy. We also gave an opportunity to Aiden Bonner, who came yeah. across from GWS, who looks a likely type and, and uh, one of your... Uh, former Geelong boys. Yeah. Josh uh, Walker. Josh Walker, feathers. Uh, feathers. Have you had a good look at his bonds? <laughs> yeah, well, we've got a couple of feathers down there at the moment. We've had a little bit of hair off between him and Ben Cunnington, who has <laughs> also got the plugs. Big farm strength. Has he got the plugs? Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't know if many people know that with Gunners. <laughs> well, he was in a Herald Sun with it. So, oh, was he? Yeah. He got paid. He actually would have had to talk to someone while they're getting done. <laughs> A lot of money. Mm, interesting. <laughs> you go. The, uh, the game that we're touching on, it was an okay first half. You got Reese Shaw there. Obviously, things went well last year. How's the preseason been under him? Yeah, it's been a really good preseason, not just with Shaw in, but we've had a lot of new faces to the football club over the preseason. The, the, probably the advantage for Shaw, he got 12 weeks with us at the end of last year, and we played some pretty good footy to finish off the season, and we're able to build on that through the preseason. And, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to things getting underway in a, in a month or so time. Talk about off-field changes. Unbelievable. So you got Reese, of course. Jade yep. Rawlings? Yeah, so Jade has come across as um, pretty senior much assistant. our senior assistant, yeah. Brendan Whitecross is down there? Yeah, so he was there as development coach last year. He's been elevated to forward line coach. Yeah, I knew that. I was just throwing that one up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jared Rivers? Riv is new. Yeah, he is new. Yeah, he is new. Yeah, he came across from yeah. the Pies. He was obviously at... The Cats prior to that, and he heads up our back line. Yes, indeed. And also, um, Brady Rawlings. What's his role? Brady Rawlings, our new GM of football. So he's come over from, from West Coast and obviously a former great of the football club as well. So it's great to have him back. And, um, yeah, he's enjoying it, and we're enjoying having him. And our former boss here at Triple M, Ben, ben Amafia. <laughs> yeah, he's um, a new appointment as well. So plenty of new um, faces, and it's great. It's a sense of fresh air, and... New thoughts, new faces for the players to see. And, um, yeah, we're excited for 2020. Not sure if you caught it during the week, Bill. The boys had photo day. Big Higo here with a bit of his finest work. Well, looking what's he done? Looking an absolute treat. The <laughs> so gun's out. I've seen a few is... of the boys. Big but... Mad Jack. Yes. How's he going in his comeback? A great story, but he's an absolute specimen. Yeah, there's plenty of boys that um, I would... The sort of arms I'm carrying at the moment, I need to go back row. But with Madge and <laughs> Taz, they were, at, they were in there doing a few kills. Um prior to the, the photos being taken. But, no, nah, Madge is, um, was good. He played last week, so it was great to see Madge back out there. Fantastic for him and his family and also the football club. Um, so, really, really good story. Yeah, you've got the arms crossed and you've pumped up the muscles beautifully. I need you? all the you help go? I can get there, you Bill. Do, how long do the photos go now? Because they bring in sponsors and the people that have bought photos, haven't they, for their kids and things? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's some great support that we get down there number oh geez they it's the been. worst day of the year bill you can you, can, <laughs> no. you can't say that because you're still playing here yeah, but it, crikey, is. it goes forever it, oh, oh yeah they've probably <laughs> break it up a little bit right. at the moment um so we only just had the team photo on the weekend but it's a good 40 minutes of team photo bill because we roll through good what about the jumper when you got to sign all the jumpers when they line that's another yeah we have a, day. yeah there's a couple of them <laughs> throughout the uh Throughout the year, well, Dave's could probably yeah, he, he would have had bigger days than that. At Ours were all the... not uh, official ones though, so that's why we got in trouble. But <laughs> yeah. I did see the Saints; they have the uh, if you have a daughter or son, you can bring I did that see in. That, yeah. Did you get to do that? Because no, I thought that's didn't. a great initiative. It was a great idea. Maybe something that we can look to do next year. Could have brought Rosie in. Yeah, she would have uh, run a muck there, but um, she understand good, the foot initiative. Uh, no. I don't know. Not yet. I think she's not even two, but. 
We might get her along to a few games this year. Yeah, exactly. She got a golf stick in the hands or uh, kicking around. Just something? working out. Well, she's kicking around the dog at the moment. That's the <laughs> only thing she's kicking around. But I need to get a tennis racket or a golf club in the hand. All right, right. Taylor made golf clubs would probably oh, help her out, Bill. That would Taylor made golf. Just well, say help me that out too, actually. Uh, the they new would. performance ball. You got to try this one. It is magnificent. How do you hit it, Bill? I hit a long, long way, and it spins, and it's got the cover. What's the cover? It's got. It certainly has a cover. A urethane, hundred percent urethane cover made for feel and increased spin around the green. Well done, Daisy. You two are running beautifully. <laughs> at the moment. Hey, we'll take a break. Here you go, because you are playing State of Origin football uh, this Friday at Marble Stadium. We'll talk about that. It's Russia triple. M. For Taylor May Golf, this is the Rush Hour and Triple M Dale, Thomas Billy Brown, the Sean Higgins, usually wearing their blue and white, wearing the blue of Victoria on Friday nights. Oh, beautiful segue Looking there. <laughs> well done to you, Rabsy, but you're right. And wearing number two. Now, I want to ask you about the numbers because this is interesting. Because you know how many good players wear number four, Higo? Far, far better players than myself, Bill. <laughs> I, I, didn't you know. even, I did not even get into the uh, argument of well, that. Well, there's uh, Gresham, who wears four. Yep, there's superstar. Your, your good self. There's also Toby Green. Yes. And there's the Bont. Yes. All wear four. Yep. But I see for Victoria, number four, Dusty Martin. And that sits fine with me. Is it? Were you asked about numbers? Or oh, anything? you just put down your three preferences, right, Bill. Right. Um, and I was um, too smart to, to put the four. Yeah, so I went one. through and... Identified a couple of numbers that the boys in the squad didn't have and got the two. How much are you looking forward to Friday night and putting on the big V jumper? Oh, I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, the from a football perspective, it's great to be able to represent the state. We don't, as players, get that opportunity. But then also, for something far greater than football is the cause that we're playing for. And to be able to raise as much money as possible as the country's done over the last month or two, and to play a small part in that, to be able to put a show on Friday night, and I'm expecting a massive crowd, and the AFL's done a fantastic job, and, and that, for us, is even even more exciting. But really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a great game. Standing room only uh, tickets left. Well, there you go, So yeah. it is going to be it's huge. Good to hear. What sort of spectacle are they going to get? How serious do you think you're going to go? Is it going to start off a bit Mickey Mouse, and then someone will take it a touch serious, and then she's going to be on? I think it's just going to be on, to be honest, and, and not in a bad way, but just in a way of wanting to put on a good show and whenever the ball's bounced and um, you know you did our game on Friday night days you would have seen that you know that was a practice match but guys are building for the season proper and um, as, I, as I mentioned when the ball's bounced you're going to mm. be in there and there's a couple of big names there that they want to put on a show and I'm sure if scores are tight late on then the heat's going to be on you don't want to end up on anyone's highlights really either so if someone <laughs> does get a big do game do not put the moz on me if I get Mark <laughs> the century yeah. taken on me but, it's the last time I come in here you'd love to see Martin V Fife and or Crips or something like that. Just yeah, well, you're going to see that, aren't you? Because I yeah. mean, you look at the midfielders on both sides and the forwards and the and the key backs. There's going to be some great matchups right across the field. Jack Rewald on the front of the paper today. Will there be any sledging oh, about uh, that little shoot there? Yeah, it's our first time I saw that. So um, who sure do you think it was? Our, I'm not sure who I thought that was. <laughs> Callum Moore. Yeah. What's, what's he doing in that suit? What? I'm not sure, to be completely honest. Maybe we can get him on and uh, he can explain that. But you're right, there's stars everywhere across the board. Who are you most looking forward to playing with or against, Higo? Oh, well, some of those midfielders. The Bond put on a, a show oh. on Friday night. So to be able to see him, Martin, in the same midfield, and then you can, I mean, you still haven't even mentioned Dangerfield and, and one of your ex-teammates in, in Pendlebury. But it'd be great to see a couple of key forwards kick a bag as well, wouldn't it? It happened yeah. last time and the Fev put on a bit of a show and, and hopefully one of the key forwards can get going. Have they told you much about the game? Have you spoke to Damien Hardwick? No, we'll have a get-together tomorrow and then we'll have an open media session, training run, followed by a dinner and then ready to go into Friday night. So you'll have a look at the All-Stars and all that, you reckon? Or uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Did you blame the sure. AFL X when that was around? Because yeah, I think I they did, had. Yeah. The, did you catch up for that dinner that they had before their uh, their games? And everyone may have been a touch off their performance, Bill. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that um, tomorrow night dinner will be <laughs> like that. But we'll. Um, yeah, it's it's it'll be good to get together. I mean, we haven't got together as a as a squad yet, and then I'm sure the instructions will be out, go out, and for the guys to put on a show and, and play to your strengths and, and let the talent come through. All-Stars training tomorrow, they tell us. Uh, John Horse Longmire coaching them. Is it sold out, Ramsey? Is that what you're hearing? 
Not sold out, but a lot of tickets been sold. I think 55. over 55,000. Good, so there's so. still a few tickets available. That'll be fantastic. Uh, what about some practice games for the North Melbourne Footy Club coming up this weekend? Yeah, we've got a little hit out Friday um, that's open to all supporters at Arden Street. Footy back at Arden Street, which is fantastic oh, for the club. and The and elephant? For the support. That's right. Get the elephant back there. Who <laughs> you can come down. <laughs> ah, um, here you go with some guy. <laughs> and Saturday as well, our girls will be going at it again. Five... 10 at Arden Street, Ooh. get down free entry to be, um, we're building nicely in flying. AFLW, Bill, so um, another win Saturday, hopefully. But your favourite AFLW side would be the Cats? No, I'm, I'm north, but I, I support one player uh, for the Cats. Hey, Bill. she's going well too, your sister, Danielle. Yeah, she had a good game on the weekend, yeah. um, so oh, well. hopefully they they get a win well, this week. They need a win, but North have been flying. Do you train closely with the girls at North? We see the girls regularly in there. Yeah, we um, obviously they train at night. Yep. Most of the time we're out, but they're they're so keen they get in as as often as possible and into the gym and into the facility and. Um, yeah, we, we had our season launch with the girls this year as oh, well, good. which was great. Great to see the footy being played at the smaller yes. venues, the home of uh, your footy club as well, because I reckon there was about 500 people at that game that Eddie had on the, <laughs> against the Bulldogs. Yeah, so that would have been the, great. To, the North to fans be. can get down and pack it out. Well, I'm sure we will, Dave. A little backhander there. But we uh, no, they love, they love Arden Street, so they'll be there in full force Friday and Saturday. Now, a couple of your teammates at North Melbourne, a um, couple of different cats, I think you would say. Cameron Zerha, who looks like one. Yes. And Nick Silver Larky. Uh, <laughs> they share a house in, uh, in North Melbourne, but they get up to some interesting stuff. Is it true or not that Zerha has got NL tattooed on his bum? That is true, and it's not the only one he's got tattooed on there. So uh, he's got a couple. There. NL being Nick Larky. That's right. Jeez. Yeah. I think he's got a couple other teammates on there as well. So Declan um, Watson is the rumours DW for him. It's mm. um, strange. And it's TG a, for Taylor Garner. Different de- generation. Bill. That's right. It's just a bit. Do you go with it or do you pull them up? Say I don't go with it. No, but they they just they go with it. I mean, I won't be getting anyone's <laughs> initials tattooed on. No the tattoos backside. on you. No, you're no, a clean I'm skin. A clean skin, Bill. <laughs> Very good looking man. Um, <laughs> but also they bought a garden leaf blower. Yeah, this is true. Is. I don't know if this is true, but you can tell us. At the blue and sucked. And instead of a vacuum, because the Dyson was too dear, and they used the actual leaf blower to do their uh, carpets. Yeah, that's not well, is no, it? No, no. What's no. going on there? They get paid plenty, don't they? Well, yes, they do. Or so do you take it all? No, I definitely don't, <laughs> Bill. But um, no, nah, they're, they're a strange breed, the young ones, but... You just got to let them go sometimes. And Ben Cunnington's had the feathers done, right? I'm going to have a good look at that. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll be happy if you can well, make we'll note pump of that. that. Well, we will. Yeah, we'll pump you'll, that up. you'll see a, a, a very different looking Ben Cunnington this year. He's, he's slim, he's fit, and he's got, a got few all this feathers long on hair. top. You could be in the market, Bill. It's never too late. Oh, no, I'll tell you, Miguel. You, you tried that, Bill, didn't you? <laughs> you yeah, did. and it died. <laughs> <laughs> I put a wig on and died. You I went didn't bald water twice. It. You didn't you water bald it. Twice. And then they scalped me to get it off. Oh, exactly. Wow. That, oh, we're not, actually, you're not supposed to talk about that. But uh, the State of Origin game this Friday night, 7.50 at Marvel Stadium. All funds raised go to the Bushfire Appeal. So well done to you, Ego. Thanks, boys. I'm looking forward to it. Good, Good luck, you, mate. mate. It's a rush hour. Triple M.